This is the RFID Triggered Explosive. And by Hitman 2 and Lockable with level 15 mastery on Santa Fortuna, this device operates in a pretty simple way. You place a special coin in a place where your target or someone close to them will pick it up. Then you plant an explosive somewhere, and once the coin gets close enough, This device gets even more fun when you combine it with the briefcase, allowing you to use suspicious packages to loudly eliminate targets, all without risking getting when it works. Unfortunately, this unique weapon goes ignored by the player base. It's too obscure to be enjoyed by casuals, too situational to be used by speedrunners, and since Hitman 3 released, too volatile to be used by anyone for more than a few seconds before but I just so happened to discover something very useful that might change the way we see our little friend. Hi, I'm shocked that I found a use for this item, but you can call me Cassie, and welcome to Facts and Features 4, The Best Coin. This bridge in Dartmoor is weird. It's what's called a no-prompt exit, meaning that unlike the vast majority of exfiltration routes in the game, you don't need to press any buttons to leave. You just walk towards it, and the animation will start. While messing around with the RFID explosive in this exit, I happen to find this. Let's just do that again so you can see it once more. I threw the coin at the exit, and the game acted as if 47 left the level. This discovery amazed me, but I didn't think it would be useful. You can't throw the coin super far, meaning that it would save at most two seconds an exit that's rarely used. However, my experimentation wasn't done. Hitman 3 has three no-prompt exits. The Bridge of Britons, the Mum Boulevard, and this shitty fence in Berlin, which only works if you use the default start of the level. So I took a quick trip to India to test if this was replicable on other maps. And as it turns out, it is. While he's messing around, I re-downloaded Hitman 2, wondering if the coin worked there as well. And once again, it does. This is actually pretty damning evidence of the lack of people who use the RFID bomb. This glitch has been in a game played by millions for over three years, and nobody has noticed it until now. Anyway, I was interested in seeing what works and what doesn't, so I went back to England, placed a coin on the bridge, and completed my objectives. I'm sorry to say, it does not just teleport you away on Dartmoor. Just like if you complete the level in the zone normally, it just tells you that you're going out of bounds until you move the coin far away enough for it to let you leave. However, it does apply a neat diff of field effect that might be useful for making thumbnails. Since leaving the coin didn't work, I thought, what if I complete the objectives and then move the coin? And my dear viewers, I hope you're as happy with the results as I am. And if that's not good enough, do you remember how the no prompt exits are exceptions to the rules that govern most other exits? Well, it turns out one no prompt exit is an exception to the exceptional rules. In Berlin, if you kill all your targets while in the map's exit zone, you instantly leave. I Means the same is likely true if you just leave a coin in the zone.
It's Ralph. I've given it some thought. Let's talk. About time. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. I'm on my way. Good. Now let's talk business. Well, talk. <laughs> I forgot that you're a man of few words. 47. I'm Agent Montgomery. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. You are... a legend. Legends die. I'm alive. Well, not for long. Your friend Gray is certainly dead. Heard he begged for his life like a little baby lamb, ready for the slaughter. And to make things worse, you are now a liability to ICA. I'm curious, what happened to you? So today we found an interesting, if not very useful way to leave three levels. That's good, but not really among the best items in the game. Does it do anything else that's useful? Well, it's all about one word, my friends. Proximity. Hitman 3 loves its proximity-based triggers, especially in Mendoza. On the screen now are two similar playthroughs of the same level. 47 is starting at the shrine, climbing onto Yates' house, and poisoning his wine before running to the party below. On the big screen is a run where I poison the wine and leave. On the little screen is another where I do the same, but leave an RFID coin nearby. Don and Valentina's behavior here is dictated by 47's proximity to the couple. As you can see on the coinless run, if you run away before Don and Valentina start talking, they don't talk at all. They just sit together for a few seconds before one of them drinks. This is done to optimize the game's timetable, shaving off time here and there to guarantee that interesting events in the level can happen within a reasonable time frame so the player can see them. The lack of this optimization is probably one of the reasons why you hate the sniper assassin game mode from Hitman 2. However, for reasons beyond any player's understanding, some key events that affect gameplay still happen, but happen differently. Here in Mendoza, if you don't trigger the Yates' conversation, Valentina drinks the wine on the table. If you do trigger it, it's Don who takes a sip. This can be very frustrating, because if you want to poison Don, you need to wait through this lengthy conversation you've likely heard a million times just to avoid accidentally killing his wife and avoiding Silent Assassin. Now at this point, Don's wife has been poisoned and she's died. So we can let the other screen take over while I explain what's going on. As you can see, placing a coin counts exactly as if the player was there, sealing Gates' fate. This applies to just about any proximity trigger in the game. If you can get a coin there, it'll work. And boy, let me tell you, there are a lot of ways to get the coin there. Want to trigger a conversation without ever even being there? Just put the coin in a briefcase and let a guard carry it to its destination. Or if you don't have a case, just throw a coin in the vaguely correct direction and a nearby NPC will pick it up. Hell, you can even listen to mission story conversations through this thing. If you're ever standing in one position and thinking, God, I could be killing the other target right now, then the RFID coin has got your back. It is an amazing tool for people who know what they're doing. And if you can find a spare inventory slot, I highly encourage you to take it along. I've been Cassie, and this has been Facts and Features number four. Have a good day.